sure that drinking your arse will take your mind off your troubles. <laughs> Legion soldiers gleam like fresh fallen snow and clank like kitchen. They head this way, we'll know it. Hey, on blood. Damn fate. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. Learn about you and your honeyed words. Can I help you?
come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Rika. If not, keep your nose clean when you do. Turn Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. You should tell her Get that on with son it. betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. They're all hearts, Elena. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Ranger. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Day, I go to Sovngarde. Sovngarde awaits. Fear. Why did it have to be like this? I think I Not right now. More. Good I should have drawn it out some more. He deserved a slower death. A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. I still can't believe he knew what he was doing when he opened that gate. So, what do we have here? Hmm... Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company vanishes. That's not smart for business. Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Well, as it turns out, I had a pet Skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. They were smaller back then. Well, as it turns out, I had a... I thought so. Varnius Junius stopped by here on his way to Corn. He was worried about something. I'm sure Falk Firebeard could tell you what. 
I've heard Jari Raz hanging around the Wells district, looking for new blood to hire. People say there's a man wandering the streets near the Blue Palace. He seems distressed, but he's not making any sense. Our hero, our hero, I think the Bard's College might be looking for recruits. You should speak to the head of the college, Viarmo, if you're interested. Remember the wing. Steamer, next time your foot's on. Hiya, what's your name? Are you visiting? What do you do? Born comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. By blade or by or spell. If you want it dead, I'll make it dead. All you need to do You'll is know. pay my fee. Feel free to make requests. Uh, no. Spell. But, but being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends both. is all I've ever asked for. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean inn. Brother Nord, you ask. The divines saved me. May the divines guide and keep you. Might finally think that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in a that A coin bar. or two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. If you're looking for pro you were there for Rogvir's execution. Most people head over to the Winking Skeever. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corpulus. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. Perhaps, but necessary. My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now, fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his damned insurrectionists. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. You really don't know? He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. People to see him places to go. You look like an adventurous one. I bet we're kindred spirits, you and I. I understand. You're, you're a traveler, an correct? I'll catch up with you. Have you been to White Run? Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter Fura was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. Take a look.
Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. What do you need, Fane? Do you need something from me, Fane? Or can I carry something for you? Let's go. What do you need, Fane? Do you need something from me, Fane? Or can I carry something for you? Let's go. It's good to take a look. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. You look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us, we're very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks. Loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, 
There would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for the heroic rescue from their sad crash. Turn me in? For what? What crime's been committed? I'm just making idle talk about what would most undoubtedly be a tragic event. A tragic and very, very profitable event. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Finest fish here. Caught daily. Mm. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Apple, Great. Tomatoes, Get back to me when you're done and I'll give you something for your time. Oh, yes. A secret family recipe. The only good thing my father, Octiev, ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries to make any. Fresh They're... Fish. adequate. From the Honestly, I rely on the business brought in by the burning of King Olaf, and that's not likely to happen this year. Well, it's a great big festival put on by the bards every year. They burn an effigy of old King Olaf. Fresh. It's quite a bit of fun. The bards give out spiced wine during the festival, so they put it in a big order. And then, for weeks after, demand is so high, I can barely keep up. But with the death of High King Torig, the festival has been declared in poor taste. So it looks like it won't happen this year. Just what you see here. Fresh off the boat. The freshest in Skyrim. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. You look like you could do with a ripe apple. Wine, or a tomato. Cabbage. Or, or leek. I have my ways, but it's not easy these days. The Black Blood Marauders have been plundering ships off the coast. A lot of people been hurt by their foolishness. That I do. I had a messenger from Dragon Bridge stop here on his way to the Blue Palace not too long ago. He was very nervous. Mentioned something about needing Spice help. Wine, the taste of home and heart. The Come back fish when you figure out how to spend Cut money. Daily. Plenty of fresh fish for you. Down at the docks. There are a few good spots if you can avoid the East Empire company workers and those red wave thugs. Swari, yes. It's been hard on her. The girl misses her uncle. I've tried to explain that Rogvir did something bad, and that we all have to be accountable for our actions. But the child feels what she will. Everything I've got on display, really. These are troubled times. Be on your guard out there. Adventurers were supposed to. Five, four, three, two, one, go! You wouldn't tell me why not. I'm no fan of the sun. It would be better than this.
Dean Inga says a bard can never have enough practice. So, would you like a tune? Pardon me. I don't want to talk. Dragon? Really? Was it big? Did it breathe fire? Oh wow, I knew it! I knew they were real! I have to remember to tell Papa! Wanna play tag? Please, take pity on an old madman. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend, said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Until next time. I this thought adventurers that were supposed Skyrim to talk. I've always heard about. Been up to the Blue Palace? It's a sight to see. Youngest bard at the Bard's College. I'm a bard from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. I'm glad I could help. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring Bard. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Uh, not much, but as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times, but the return of the dragons that story is once in an era. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. 
I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Orloff's verse. You should speak to him about it. I wish you luck in finding the verse. Good to meet a prospective bard. Ah, yes. Adonato's new work. Shorter than I expected, but words must be judged on merit, not length. I'll look over this later. Why don't you take this for your trouble? He's sending you after King Olaf's verse, then. That's good. We shouldn't leave it lying around now that I've figured out where it is. The verse was Svaknir's contribution to the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Each bard adds to the Edda in his or her time. And a very ancient one. The verse criticized the reigning King Olaf. He was so incensed the bard was put to death and all the copies burned. At least, that's what we thought until I translated some ancient texts a year or so ago. We now believe King Olaf buried the truth with the bard. If I'm right, Svaknir and King Olaf's verse lie in dead men's respite, along with the burial chamber of King Olaf himself. Be careful. You might find more than just King Olaf's birth. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History and Scribe Work when I can find oh. some quiet time. Good evening. I'm Pantia Atia, the Master Vocalist. What you need, Fe I'm yours to command, Faye. I'll oh, wait here until it? you need me. Sorry, I'm not that easy to get rid of. If you want to run ahead, I won't stop you. But I'll be following. Is it time to move on? Lead on, Faye. Yes. Whenever you're ready.
My position, Ildi. I am Dean of Luke at the Bard's College, and no, I don't give private lessons. What? You did? Oh, sweet divines, you did. There is no way I can pay you what this loot is worth. But I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. Glad Late that one distraction's over. Good evening. Soak in the lore. Lady Atia says happened? my voice is second here. only to hers. Um, but she said Morrowind short. suffered a massive explosion? Vardenfell's red mountain erupts. Try to be precise, Yor. Remember, bard being at the a bard's bard, college, just I wish service. only to graduate. And why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. But do you know who really makes history? The person who writes it. Farewell, stranger. Very good. Let's continue with our practice. You found the Bard's College Kitchen. Congratulations. My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the finer points of court life. I heard stories about the Solitude Windmill, but I didn't expect it to be that big. Water. Look at you. If only everyone acted like you do. What a fascinating time to be alive. Mark me. These days will be remembered long after we're gone. Where the fuck is she? Or he, whoever.
fuck? Am I really that stupid or? I don't know the command code anymore, but uh, I don't know what what's going on. It's also 3 a.m. and I am by the way, but uh, I can't find that bitch anywhere. One second, I'm gonna disable all the other fucking fucking quests, all of them. I don't know which one is what though, so. Fucking NPC bot because I, I'm starting to fucking become mad like a madman. This is just bullshit, you know. All of these I have to go through. <coughs> Fucking idiot companions! Position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of I had to pick up a fucking book. A fucking book, really. I thought I was looking for a fucking NPC, you know. Bring here, right? the book. Welcome to the bar. College. It's like a. A musical museum. Good to meet a prospective bard. Ildi, what year did the Aldmeri Dominion invade the... Late 171. Good Ildi, soak in the lore. Yorn, what happened during the Red Year? Um, Morrowind suffered a... I have faith that you'll return with King Orbos. 
you know, should Elder Scroll 6 come, they gotta make sure that, you know, if a person's gonna activate all that quest just to make sure that they get everything, that not everything is being, you know, everything that's important in Pacific areas being pointed out and not bullshit that's far, far away. Because, you know, it's so bad to their questing systems. You literally gotta disable most of your quests in order to find that one particular arrow that you need, you know. But whatever, I thought I was looking for a NPC and not a fucking book. But, you know, should have paid better attention, I suppose. Sorry for the raging, guys. 